Your Apple Watch may get stuck on the Apple logo for different reasons. Maybe it's some bug or just some internal glitch. Thankfully, if it's just a software issue, then we do have solutions for that. So let's have a look at it. Force restart is a step you should go for before you actually reset your Apple Watch. And to do this, just press and hold the side button and the digital crown together and release until you see the Apple logo. Give the watch a minute to boot up and power on normally. If it didn't help, you can use Find My to unfreeze it. Let me show you how it's done. Open watch app on a paired iPhone and tap My Watch. Tap All Watches from the top left, tap I button next to your watch name. Next, tap Find My Apple Watch. The Find My app will automatically open. Log in if you're prompted to. Select your Apple Watch from the list of devices if needed. Tap on play sound. This will probably fix the issue. And if it doesn't, try to play sound a few more times. This would have probably fixed the issue. But to avoid similar issues in upcoming future, these are the steps that you need to follow. Once the watch is no longer stuck on the Apple logo, unpair it from your iPhone and pair it again. Another thing that you should take care of and should probably do it on a regular basis is updating your watchOS to the latest version. With each update, Apple tries to fix the issues of the existing software and try to introduce new features. You can update the software on your watch using just your watch. To update the software on your Apple Watch, all you need to do is open watch app on your iPhone and tap my watch. Tap general, software update and wait for process to complete and download and install if the latest software update is available. Okay, so the last and probably the final solution to this problem is resetting your watch. This can be tedious, but at the same time, it fixes a lot of problems. Once you reset it, all your data on the Apple watch will be wiped. So if you're ready, press the digital crown and tap settings, general, now tap reset, it is all content and settings. Enter your watch passcode if prompted and confirm your action. Once the erase is completed, set up your Apple Watch as new. One thing to keep in mind is to avoid restoring from backup to avoid older problems to port over. Instead, what you can do after setting up your Apple Watch is go to App Store and install all the applications that have been removed. Also, you can sync music and photos from your iPhone anytime. So that is it. If this tutorial has helped you, then make sure you give us a like and subscribe button and download the iGeeks blog app from the App Store if you'd like to stay updated with everything Apple. This is me here signing off and I'll see you in the next one.